Hello dear students, welcome back. This question is from GATE 2008 exam. It is for two marks and is of the type true false. They have given you four statements. You need to tell which one is true and which one is false. Now if you understand this question completely, you will also cover a question from 2005 exam. Because statement number one of this question and this question from 2005, they are exactly the same. So let us see what statement number one is saying. Statement number one says count to infinity is a problem only with dv and not with ls routing. dv obviously means distance vector routing, ls means link state routing. Okay, you need to tell if the statement is true or false. This statement is actually true. We have already seen both of these algorithms and we have seen that dv has a problem that is called count to infinity. So the statement is true. Now already I have discussed count to infinity in a few more questions, but still I'll repeat. Suppose you have this router R1, it is connected to R2, then you have this router R3. Suppose these are some routers and they are connected to each other like this. Now each and every router will have some routing table. For example, this router R2, it will have a routing table. In that routing table, distance to all other routers will be calculated. Okay. For example, R2 will know what is its distance to R1. What is its distance to R2? That is 0. From here to here, distance will be 0. Then what is R2's distance to R3? Then what is R2's distance to R4, R5, R6 and so on. Okay. And what are the next hops? We have already seen this algorithm DB. Okay. That all will be calculated. Now suppose after some time, and some exchanges of information. Suppose the conditions are now stabilized. That means all the distance they are accurately calculated. That means R2 will know all the distances. R3 will know all the distances and so on. Now instead of talking about all the distances, let's discuss only about distance to R1. R2 will know that its distance to R1 is 1. Okay, there is only one hop. R3 will know that its distance is 2. Similarly, R4's distance is 3, 1, 2, 3, then 4, and then 5. Okay. Now, suppose after some time, this link goes down. Okay. See, already the distances are now stabilized. That means the algorithm, DV algorithm, is running from some time and everything is perfectly calculated. After this, some link goes down. Now what will happen? This R2, it will not get any information from R1. Okay, The distance vector will not be exchanged because this link is down. So R2, it is going to update this distance to infinity because now there is no direct link. Now in next step, a problem is going to arise. When these distance vectors will be exchanged, see what will happen. Now current distance is infinity so it will be exchanged with this 2 similarly this 2 will be exchanged with 3 okay and so on similarly 4 and 5 these will be exchanged now see what will happen at this router r2 r2 will get no information from here but r3 will send this information to r2 so R2 will see that router R3 is saying it knows how to send data to R1 in two hops. This is the problem. See, this router will think that R3 can send data to R1 in two hops and it will update this infinity to 3 now. Okay. R2 will think in one hop I can send data to R3. Then R3 knows how to send data to R1 and 2 hops. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So it will update infinity to 3. And actually this is wrong because R3 cannot directly send data to R1 and 2 hops. It has to go via R, R2 and this link only. Okay, This link is obviously down. So this problem, it will be in the system for a very long time. That means each and every router will not immediately get to know. This is called count to infinity. See, 
just we'll just analyze one more step now this infinity will be shared with r3 also r3 will get this 3 from router r4 so now r3 will think that r4 can send data in three hops r2 can never send data to r1 so r3 will prefer this one okay r3 will think that in one hop i can send data to r4 then it's duty of r4 to send data in three hops three plus one will be four so this one is updated to four see don't say that already its distance is two no whatever information you are getting from your neighboring nodes you have to assume it to be true and don't consider this two this will be updated to four okay now this will remain as it is because r4 will get two from here and four from here two is smaller so two plus one three this will be kept as it is so in next iteration also r4 will calculate three r5 will calculate four only and r6 will calculate five only okay now let us see what will happen in next step just one last step these numbers they will be exchanged Now this router R3, it will say that I can take any data and send it to R1 and four hops. This four is sent to this router R2. R2 will also update its information because now R2 thinks there is a path from R3 to R1 in four hops. So one plus four is five. So it will be updated to five. I'm writing five here like this okay so one infinity three then five after this this three is also shared to this side okay r3 will think there is a path from r2 to r1 in three hops and there is a path from r4 to r1 in three hops only because three is only shared so this router it can decide either r2 or r4 as next hop for r1 okay because both of the distances are three only so any one of them will get selected and r3 will update its distance to 5 because now sorry it will keep it as 4 only the new distance that is calculated it will be 4 only because 3 and 3 is same so any one is selected and 1 this hop if r2 is selected then 1 plus 3 is 4 if R4 is selected, then 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay. Similarly, this one will be updated. This one will be updated. And this process will continue for a very long time. Okay. These numbers, they will keep on increasing until you reach infinity. This is called count to infinity. Okay. Whenever any packet arrives, suppose currently some packet arrives, that has to be sent to this router R1. Now they, that packet will just keep on looping between these routers only, okay? Because eventually it can never end at this router R1 because there is no link connecting to this router R1. And all of these routers, they think there is a path to R1. So they will keep, keep on sending the packet between themselves only, okay? So the packet will keep on kind of looping, okay? This is count to infinity and actually these numbers will not go till infinity. See, we can't represent infinity. So some big number, for example, 32 or 64 or maybe 128 based on scenario is chosen as infinity. Whenever this distance, it becomes infinity, the routers will just get to know that there is some problem and they will just think that now there is no path to reach to R1, okay? Only at that point of time, the packets will be discarded. So this is a problem and hence this statement is true. Now see why this problem arises. It arises because R3, it is sending only this information that what is the distance of R3 to R1. It is not sending what is the next hop. If R3 also tells that this, see in first step it will say the distance is two to this router. If R3 also tells that this distance 2 goes via R2 only and via this link only, then this problem will not arise. 
सो बेसिक कॉज ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज वी आर शेयरिंग ओनली डिस्टेंस वैक्टर्स एंड नॉट द नेक्स्ट हॉप ओके हैंस इट इज अ प्रॉब्लम ओनली इन दिस एल्गोरिदम डेट इज डीवी वॉट हैपन्स इन एल एस इन लिंक स्टेट राउटिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम विल नेवर अराइज बिकॉज वी यूज फ्लडिंग ओके दिस राउटर will get information from all of the routers okay for example we are talking about this router r5 will get information from all of the routers r1 also r2 r3 r4 r5 and r6 okay all of them will send information here so it will be aware that this link is down in first step only okay because we use flooding flooding means every packet will be sent to every router okay so i think that's enough for this question now let's move on to second point actually there are lot of things that i'm purposely not discussing because i want to keep this video short so let's move on to statement number 2 that is as to it says in ls shortest path algorithm is run only at one node no this is false at every node the algorithm is run okay either it is ls or db every node will calculate shortest path so statement number 3 is in db the shortest path algorithm is run uh, yeah that is also false okay so shortest path algorithm has to be run on all the nodes then statement number 4 says db requires lesser number of messages than ls yeah this is true so what is the answer only s1 and s4 is true let us see why is s4 true dv requires lesser number of messages than ls because in dv you are sharing only the distance vector and that to only with your neighbors so r3 will get information only from r2 and r4 that's it okay and that to only the distance vector is shared but in link state routing what happens you prepare a state packet for example whatever information is prepared by r2 it will be flooded on to the network that means each and every router will get that information so any router it will be aware of the global scenario this router r4 it will be aware of this fact that this link is down okay and moreover this algorithm it will not have any count to infinity problem because in link state routing you are using flooding the number of messages will be very high moreover the size of the message will also be bigger because we are sending a lot of information we are not only sending the distance vector additional information is also sent now in this dv algorithm we used to send only distance vector because we wanted to save some bandwidth this was used in 80s okay at that time we had really low bandwidths the link were the links they were not that efficient as we have them now okay so we wanted to save bandwidth hence we shared only the distance vector 